call is now being recorded. All right, Brent Porcher, topphilosophy.net. I've got uh, a special guest today, Troy. What's your last name, Troy? Kirby. Kirby? Kirby. How do you spell that? P-E-R-Z-I. P-E-R-Z-I, Kirby. Oh, cool. I'm not making sure. I couldn't understand it through the phone. <laughs> to Troy. Oh, good. Cool, man. You're a special guest. You've had success with the program. You've broken into the 90-mile-an-hour range, which is pretty awesome. So always try to interview those who've been through the program and have gone 5 to 10 and, and broken through 90. So let's kind of learn about how you did it. So talk about first how you came on the 3X programs, like you know how, how you came about getting into it and, and why. Well, first I was – Starting off freshman year, I wasn't throwing very hard. I was in the 81 to 83 range, topping out 85 at best. And then sophomore year, I was around the same, 84, 85, maybe topping out 86. So I said, there's got to be a a next level I can jump my velocity at. There's got to be a program, something I could follow that has a specific schedule and everything like that. Um, And I knew about it from a friend. Glenn had purchased it back in 2013, um, and he showed me some of the schedules. And I said to my brothers, "Let's let's try to do this." Um, it, w- it was right after I had a temporary contract with the Wareham Game in the Cape this past summer, and I was only throwing 86. So I was like, maybe that's why I got cut. It could have been because I was coming from a D2 program from uh, Valdosta, Georgia, which some people might not know about especially up north. So I figured, let's try this velocity program, 3X pitching. And I took about six weeks off from when I got cut in the Cape. And around the end, middle middle towards the end of July, I started the program. And from there, everything just started sinking. My body, I felt, I felt all the power coming from my lower half. Which I never felt before. Cool. And it was all it was all from that well, cool. Well, cool, man. So just to stop you there, so I think the coolest thing, and you know, <laughs> I would have I haven't had a lot, but I've had some testimonials where guys didn't even buy the program. So you just you just basically got it from a friend, and you did the mm-hmm. program, which I mean, I'm perfectly I'm perfectly fine with. I mean, at the end of the day, you know, obviously to keep my business running guys to buy my programs, but you know, whatever. I mean, it's really about helping guys like me when I developed this to help myself. You know, it's cool to be able to help others kind of in that same place. So, I mean, what did you, when you started to have success with it, I mean, what was it like getting started with it? Was, was it a pretty challenging program for you or or not? And and then when you got going with it, how long did it take to you started having success with it? Well, at the beginning, it was definitely challenging because I was getting my body in a position that I've never been in before. And, I mean, I was outside with my little brother for two and a half hours at a day working on specifically from the pictures that I got from my friend's email of, of your, the way your body was. I would sit down outside, and my little brother would show me the picture. I would get in the position, and then he would tell me if I had to, you know, move around in a certain way to get my body the exact way. And sure enough, I, I was getting it in the perfect position that you were in. And I, I just started feeling it come from my body more than just my arm. And I'd say, I mean, maybe about three, four, five weeks in, the velocity games started really kicking. And I would say 86 to 90 in about five weeks. Well, well so when you when you made those jumps, I mean, how much of the program were you doing? Were you following everything? I was following the the exact schedule: the Monday, Wednesday, Friday, the target throws, the med throws. And then, were you doing the lifting? Yes. Well, I I wasn't doing everything from your program because I couldn't find it from his email, but I was doing some of the stuff like you said, like the the queens. I had never power clean before. I started doing that. Um, okay, my cool. weight, my my weight. How, how, how did you? What from else? squatting two twenty five um, to three thirty five, benching went up from one fifty five right. to 
to 205. And then my clean, because I, when I first started, when you said do all the cleans, the jerks, the pulls, all that stuff, I started at 135, and now I'm up at 225. So the the strength, you, you have to have... You have to have strength in order to, to be a 90-plus guy. You, I mean, it's very rare you find someone that's not strong throwing 90-plus, and that, that's a big aspect to it. It's not just the the, the drills and, and all that. It's 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 the training as well. you got to be willing to put in the work for both parts. Well, cool. So but how tall are you? I mean, what's your height and body weight? I'm 6'205". So what do you feel like in, in the, the key things in in the program, what do you feel like were really significant to, to helping you make those gains? Um, I, the, the biggest takeaway I would say is learning to create momentum and starting my hips early and not, and not going to like a, a, a vertical stance to start creating that linear movement. I'd say that was, Definitely the biggest factor in, in, in my velocity gains was, was getting linear and, and moving immediately. I mean, I, I used to be straight up, and now I'm a lot better with moving linear and, and moving forward with my hips. Um, I even worked on not leading with my foot and leading with my hips more. So mm-hmm. I think that's why I've, I've had more of those velocity gains. Mm-hmm. Did you in, enhance hip to shoulder separation? Was that another piece that you worked on? Yes, the the three biggest things that you go over were um, also helping me the the driving with the with your force vector, hip to shoulder separation, and then extension, which is critical because you have to finish the throw. Cool. So, um, how, what's the hardest you've, you've been since uh, since? You got started with, with the hardest you've seen on the radar gun. Uh, 94, just recently. And I, oh, I right. hit great. 90 you've made... in um, scout day in the fall, which was in September. Um, popped out 91, and then 94 because I I went through um, went through about 12 weeks in the fall, shut down, and then did about six weeks. Again, just to go over everything, make sure I wasn't going to, you know, lose track of what I was working on for the season. And then now I'm more into the in-season lifting again and all that stuff. So, but but 94 is the, is my top, and I sit between 90 and 93. Well, awesome, man. That's really exciting. Um, I mean, what would you have found? I mean, do you, have you got? Did you ever get to a point where you're like? you were considering maybe coming down for a camp? I mean, would you find value in, in, in that, or do you feel like you've, you've just had so much success, you know, you're, you're, you're satisfied with what you got? Yeah, I, I actually was considering coming down there, depending on what happens um, in the summer. Like, I'm not sure what's going to happen because I could get picked up by a team. If I don't, I could go to the cave again. But if I if I don't do either of those, I was definitely considering coming down because – um, you know, the extra velocity would always help. Well, good, man. Well, this is awesome. So, I mean, what kind of, I guess the last words here, I mean, what would you say to someone out there who's going to probably be listening to this that is where you were, where you were when you were, you know, 86 at best and you were trying to figure it out? What would you say to that guy who's out there trying to look for something to help him? You know, break 90 or become that high level pitcher. What would, what advice would you give him? Um, I think I think mo- um, being able to create momentum on the mound. Um, you know, you know, you did a, a video on Jackie Bradley Jr. You remember that one about um, how yeah. his mechanics yeah. his mechanics look flawless from that throw to the outfield from the outfield. And, and I just remember you guys were laughing about how how good his mechanics were, and that those actually were exactly what you look at in a pitcher, right? Yeah. And and I'm just saying, I think I think if you could learn how to create momentum off of the rubber, and 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 not, it's not so much long tossing, it's not so much crow hopping into throws because it doesn't 
necessarily translate to the mound. If you could learn how to um to to get off the mound quick and 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 use your hips and drive with your back leg and use your body more, I think it's just gonna be so much easier and you'll see gains right away. I mean it's not gonna be the first week. Maybe not the second but but well, if you put the work in for a month you'll see at least a few miles per hour. After two or three months, I'm sure you'll see at least five. That's awesome, man, but it takes the work, right? And it's not easy. Oh. You've got you to be willing to grind through it. Oh, definitely. It's, you got you got to believe you could do it. I mean, if you're, if you're looking at something that's just going to be uh, next day, I'm throwing 10 miles an hour faster, then there's no chance. You've got to be willing to understand that this, this is going to take a little time but just know that it's worth it, and you know this this was the best thing that I've ever accomplished. I mean, I always had faith in top velocity. I knew it was all about mechanics and and you know using your body more. It's healthier for your arm. You're taking a lot of pressure off your arm. My arm feels better than it's ever felt, and awesome. I'm throwing at a higher velocity. That's what's awesome about it. That's awesome, man. Sounds like you figured it out. That's great. I mean, it is. It's all about power down the mound and and timing that to get up to the ball and developing that in your training program like we do with, with your age pitching, man. That's exciting, man. I appreciate you taking your time to do this. And, uh, yeah, I would love for you to come down. And uh, so I'll just end, I'm end the interview, and, but stay on the line, man. Hold on a second. All right.